What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So today I bring you another epic video. Grab your snacks and drinks, strap on your seatbelts. We are going for a ride. The top 10 smartwatches of 2022 that you can buy right now. bringing you my real world experiences with these watches to help you choose your ideal watch. So first of all, we will begin with the top 10 best smartwatches of 2022, and then I'll follow up with some various categories, including my favorite, the Hall of Fame category. So get comfortable, epic video about to start. Now all the prices mentioned in this video are subject to change. All links will be shared in the description box. And I will take a second just to ask you guys to hit the like button to support the channel as it's also very motivational and rewarding seeing that you guys are liking the content. So without any further ado, let's begin with the best smartwatches money can buy of 2022. So this is my top 10 starting from the bottom. So at number 10, we have the Honor Watch GS3. So a premium and affordable smart fitness watch with a generous 1.43 inch AMOLED display. You get five ATM, Bluetooth phone calls, 14 day battery life, but there is no NFC payments with this one. So at number nine, we have the Fossil Gen 6. So this is a full featured smartwatch and it does have a rather nice compact 1.28 inch Super AMOLED display powered by the Snapdragon 4100 Plus and it's running Wear OS version 2. You also get Bluetooth calls, 3 ATM water resistance, and you do get NFC payments with Google Pay and a one day battery life. So that's my number nine, the Fossil 6. So at number eight, we have the Apple Watch Series 7 and Series 8 in joint eighth position because there is not much between them. They both look exactly the same. They both offer the same 1.78 inch OLED display with super accurate health tracking with ECG, irregular heart rate monitoring, SpO2. You also get 50 meter water resistance. The Series 8 has a slightly faster processor and crash detection along with a temperature sensor. Other than that, it's exactly the same as the Series 7. So if you already have a Series 7, absolutely no point upgrading to the Series 8. Now at number seven, we have the beautifully designed Google Pixel Watch with its compact 1.1 inch AMOLED display with 1000 nits peak brightness, but it is powered by a four year old processor, the Exynos 9110, saying that you're still getting a comprehensive health tracking experience. It's also running the latest Wear OS by Google version 3.5. It does support Bluetooth phone calls and you do get a one day battery life along with five ATM water resistance and NFC payments by Google Pay. So at number seven, it's the Google Pixel Watch. All right, moving on, number six, we have the Huawei Watch 3 Pro. Check it out, guys. Beautifully designed, feature-packed, premium smart fitness watch with impressive large 1.43 inch AMOLED display. You get a beautiful titanium build quality with sapphire glass on top. It is running Harmony OS with five ATM water resistance, three day battery life, and you also get NFC, but not supported for NFC payments. All right, moving swiftly to number five, we have another beautiful creation by Huawei. There is no doubt in my mind that Huawei makes some of the most attractive and beautifully designed watches. This is the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro in ceramic white with sapphire glass on top and a beautiful 1.32 inch AMOLED display. You get five ATM water resistance, Bluetooth phone calls, a massive 14 day battery life and NFC. But again, NFC payments not yet supported. All right, so things are getting real heated here. What is gonna be in position four? I bet you guys can't wait. Well, here it is. Number four, we have the Garmin Venu 2 Plus. Now this is an advanced premium fitness watch jam packed with health features and you have a gorgeous compact 1.3 inch AMOLED display. You get five ATM water resistance. This does support Bluetooth phone calls and you get a pretty decent nine day battery life. NFC payments are supported with Garmin Pay and this smartwatch offers full compatibility with both Android or iOS. So whilst I was testing this watch, 
the sheer number of features and accuracy of those health features was quite incredible. All right, time for number three. What is it gonna be? It's the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. Now, whilst this watch actually released last year, it still did enough to deserve a number three position in this year's top 10. This is a full featured smartwatch with dual display design like no other. That's a 1.4 inch AMOLED display with an FSTN display sandwiched together. You have military standard durability, IP68 water resistance, a powerful Snapdragon 4100 performance, bells and whistles when it comes to accurate health tracking features, an impressive three day battery life. Now you might be thinking, why is three days impressive, Chigs? Well, this is not a premium fitness tracking watch. Uh, you don't have that limitation. This is a full featured smartwatch, giving you a smartphone like experience on your wrist with built in Wi Fi, LTE options, with third party app downloads. You've got the App Store with Google Play. You've got the Google Play App Store giving you mainstream app downloads like Spotify, Strava. You've got Google Maps, YouTube, YouTube Music, and lots more. You can make and receive Bluetooth phone calls, and you can actually reply to most notifications directly from the watch. So this is what I call a super smartwatch. So still at number three last year and this year, the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra. I really like this watch. So I wonder who's next. The best smartwatch you can buy this year, position two, is no other than the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. The expression, everything but the kitchen sink, is what you get when you buy Samsung's latest Galaxy Watch. Every person who has tested this watch from my recommendation has thanked me. So this is my daily driver smartwatch, the one that I wear every single day. Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, you get impressive specs, impressive performance, impressive health tracking. In fact, more health features than any other smartwatch out there. Now, every person who has tested this watch from my recommendation has thanked me. So Galaxy Watch 5, you're getting impressive specifications, very good performance, 1.4 inch super AMOLED display, a very gorgeous display, impressive health tracking. In fact, this watch will give you more health features than any other smartwatch out there. Now you are getting the incredible Wear OS version three with one UI on top, and I simply love this UI. You've got Bluetooth phone calls, 580 and water resistance, and military standard durability. The compromise is the battery life, which is 2.5 days. There are tricks to make it last a bit longer, but that is the compromise for having the best smartwatch features, design, and build quality. Basically, the complete package. Now, this watch is compatible with Android only. And if you want ECG or blood pressure monitoring, then it has to be a Samsung phone. I'm connected to the Pixel 6a, and it works absolutely fine. Um, I don't really use ECG or blood pressure monitoring, so I'm not missing those features. So my choice number two is the Galaxy Watch 5, my daily driver. So who takes the number one position? Who is the king of the smartwatch jungle? Who offers the most comprehensive features, specifications, health tracking, build quality, durability, battery life and comfort? Well, the best smartwatch you can buy in 2022 and probably most of 2023 as well. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now this smartwatch has the bells and whistles in terms of health features. Sapphire crystal glass, 1.4 inch super AMOLED display, powerful new chipset, latest Wear OS 3.5, probably the best and most accurate and most well presented sleep tracking than any other smartwatch of 2022. Samsung has given us the biggest battery upgrade we have ever seen in a Galaxy Watch. So that's 590 milliamp hours, which can last up to 3.5 days with normal usage. So many features squeezed into a smartwatch, no thicker than 11 millimeters, and it weighs only 76 grams. So this is a very advanced smartwatch. This video is not sponsored by Samsung or any other company. I always buy my own Samsung tech, full price, just like you guys. And from my everyday testing, there is no doubt in my mind, Samsung is ahead of the competition with its smartwatches. It's not just about hardware or software, it's the full package and how well presented everything is. It's a very attractive, comfortable smartwatch. And this is my number one watch of 2022, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. The smartwatch world is indeed quite extensive and all our requirements are different. We are not finished yet. Some of you might be looking for something more particular. 
And to help you narrow things down, I have a few more categories that I will share with you. So now it's time for Chigzy's Hall of Fame of Smartwatches 2022. So featuring some of the best smartwatches of recent years, which you can still buy and enjoy with the added benefit of the price being much cheaper. Now the first one is Huawei Watch GT2 Pro is still in the Hall of Fame, guys. This smartwatch was so well ahead of its time in terms of design, technology, and health features. It was originally released in 2020, and it's still regarded as one of the best pound for pound smartwatches that you can buy for the money right now, especially as it's dropped down considerably in price. But you're still getting a flagship quality premium smart fitness watch. We're talking about titanium build quality, sapphire glass, Bluetooth phone calls, 5 ATM water resistance. It's got heart rate monitoring, SpO2, and a very decent two week battery life. This watch is also compatible with both Android or iOS devices. And the only drawback is NFC payments are not supported. So no third party apps supported. So it's basically a beautifully designed premium smart fitness watch with a great battery. Huawei watch GT2 Pro is still in the hall of fame guys. You can still buy this watch right now for really low price. Okay, so next one, new entry for 2022 Hall of Fame. Last year's Galaxy Watch 4 Classic 46 millimeter smartwatch cannot be forgotten, guys, especially with that extremely satisfying rotating bezel. So last year's champion, and still one of the best smartwatches you can buy, and it's dropped down in price. If you miss the rotating bezel, this watch is still an option. Definitely check it out. Another watch that needs to be inducted this year is the Galaxy Watch 3. Now this smartwatch is priced so low on Amazon that I am surprised that they still have stock. The GW3 was originally released in 2020. This watch features comprehensive health tracking as expected from the Galaxy watches, accurate heart rate tracking, SpO2. This also has NFC, GPS, fall detection, Bluetooth calls, and the Galaxy Watch 3 was the only one that was compatible with both Android and iOS. This is the last of Samsung's breed of watches running the pure Tizen OS. So very close to my heart, I really like this watch. Galaxy Watch 3, so no doubt a beautiful watch and a treat on your wrist at such a low price. Hall of Fame material right here. Galaxy Watch 3 can still be picked up for an extremely low price. Definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. One more smartwatch that deserves not to be forgotten. The Amazfit GTR 3 Pro from last year. So a premium smart fitness watch with some great fitness features along with a very nice display. And also this watch has some of the best looking smartwatches I've ever seen in a smartwatch. You also get five ATM, Bluetooth calls, heart rate monitoring, SpO2, GPS, and you get a very nice always on display to go with it. The only thing to mention is NFC payments are not supported. I look forward to seeing which smartwatches get inducted next year. Let's move on to our next category. Okay, so the next category we're talking about is iOS. If you have an iPhone, then the best smartwatch for you is of course the Apple Watch. So Series 7 is a very good Apple Watch. Series 8 is just slightly improved, so not worth upgrading if you already have the 7. Apple Watch Ultra is another option if you can afford it, but I personally would not spend that kind of money on a smartwatch with such limited functionality. It's massive and bulky, dare I say, it's ugly. So that's option number two for iPhones, but there are other options that you can consider if you've got an iPhone. Garmin and Fitbit watches also work with iPhones. Garmin Veno 2 Plus, so a very good option there, uh, completely compatible with iPhones. Now, if we refer back to the Hall of Fame, the Huawei watch GT2 Pro also works really well with iPhones, and so does the Galaxy Watch 3 and the Amazfit GTR3 Pro. So these are your options if you have an iPhone. Now, if Wear OS by Google is your requirement, then the absolute best Wear OS smartwatches of this year is of course the Galaxy Watch 5 series. You also have the option for last year's Galaxy Watch 4 Classic or Galaxy Watch 4 series that is also running the latest version of Wear OS. So you've got all of these options here for Wear OS, but that's not all. We have some non-Samsung options as well. 
Here is the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. That's Wear OS by Google. And we also have the Fossil Gen 6. These two are running Wear OS version 2. I haven't received an update for them yet. And not forgetting the latest Pixel Watch, which is running the latest version of Wear OS 3.5, just like the Samsung's. So here are a bunch of options for the best Wear OS experience. Now here is a category for small wrists. If you're someone who just wants something a little bit more compact on the wrist, then these are the best smartwatches for smaller wrists. So the first one is the Galaxy Watch 5 40 millimeter model. So a compact version of the Galaxy Watch 5. So you get the same experience, the same health tracking, the same features, but just in a smaller form factor. The next one I recommend for small wrists, this Galaxy Watch 4 Classic with the rotating bezel, and this one is 42 millimeters in size, but you do get that really nice rotating bezel. Next watch, ideal for small wrists, Pixel Watch. I'm sure none of us can deny that this watch is small, compact, 41 millimeter in diameter, and it's quite a comfortable and attractive design. So that is another good one for small wrists. One more to show you for small wrists, the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro. So this one is 43 millimeters. You can see these are all small in size, small watches with smaller screens, compact, lightweight, but absolutely feature packed. So the best watches for small wrists, people. So there you have it guys, my best smartwatches of 2022 shared same time every year. This list was based on my real time experiences with these watches. And again, this video is not sponsored. If you did not like my choices, please share your thoughts in the comments. What would be your top 10? That being said, it's always nice to hear your thoughts. I do hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Do hit that like button to support the channel and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.